saying that it happens that uh, on the opposing team we have both Mario and Villager. So two characters uh, have uh, absorption or cape uh, reflector capabilities, and Mario being extremely mobile and also happens to be a bad matchup for Lucario. I'm not sure how well the healing strategy will work. So we're starting off on Battlefield. Blue team with a stage control for now. <laughs> Pressing A at the edge. Absolutely unbeatable. Yeah. Very nice uh, positioning from the red team. Even though it was partly coincident coincidental, it did work out. <laughs> nice spike, but just close enough to the edge. This is like Kai is able to survive the spike. Ooh, this is bad. This is actually pretty damn bad because look how you now have stage control. And it, it's all it's all fun in games when you're grinding the person on the carrier when he's going from 90 to 130 when you have him off the ground. Because when he's on the ground, he's healing his mate and he's charging his aura sphere and he's probably killing you at 99% if he gets a chance. And there you go, 90% for each side B. Absolutely terrific. Super ballsy jump air dodge from Kruger. I'm not sure how far exactly he saw that up smash, or how far from he saw that up smash coming, but he did punish it. And just like that, the red team, which was definitely in person during the first stop, is now at a huge deficit because they have a Lucario at 155, which will definitely destroy them if he gets a chance. And they have a Lucas who just keeps getting regenerated. Backstroke, still won't do it. One of these backstrokes, man, that, that doesn't really kill until you're at the edge. Ooh, the snipe! Very mean Aura Sphere getting pocketed by Volia and immediately being thrown back at Lucas. You wanna absorb something? Absorb this, bitch. And the Lucas is out of here. And so red team still at a deficit, but somehow made it happen really quickly. Should be able to grind some percent into Lucario. Which is not something that we usually recommend if you can close the stock, but still should be able to survive for a decent uh, for a decent while. Okay. Blue team with the stage control, as usual, very nice from Pure Shooter. Uh, I'm in the same crew as them myself, and I've seen him struggle with their healing uh, strategies and uh, setups, and I've seen him time and time again absorb the heal and just stay there and get healed. Please, just cancel the move. You can roll away, jump away, and we can see that working right now uh, with only 39% on his second stock, while both members of the red team are on their last stocks, and the look how you're there. This might be the scariest part because he's at a 100%, so he does have kill power. And he's very, very far from dying. Like, he literally cannot die to any move from Mario uh, except cheaper F smash or uh, spike. I don't think F smash will get at this point. And uh, Villager, well, it's very hard to set up Villager skill moves, so it's basically safe from that end. As it happens, uh, speaking of uh, team strategies and uh, setups, uh, the red team has basically none. Uh, which is sadly, as I was saying, kind of uh, to be expected because they never teamed together, so they didn't have the time to set things up and uh, train uh, for this um, kind of scenario. But uh, on the other hand, blue team, while the combos are rather, uh, well, let's be frank, absent, uh, it doesn't matter because the healing is on point and uh, it's really making quite a difference. Might be it. Yep, tries to go for the jab dog, but obviously, uh, even though he he got a uh, jab in, it wasn't a sweet spot, so that's too bad. But anyway, obviously, wouldn't have been able to connect it uh, or convert it into our forward smash. Seeing as Lucario was there to help him, to help his mate, very nice cape. Lucario is off stage, goes for the eye, higher B. Yes, gets punished by your reverse up smash. Decent punish, but didn't think into, uh, into account that he's in his doubles, and he probably could have been, been something big had thrown the Lucario at his mate. And there he goes. The Mario is gone out of here. 
and the blue team is healing for all of eternity. <laughs> Bully are taking its time. And the hit lag of the forward smash will allow the, the, the wood to uh, wreck the poor villager's face, send it into oblivion. And blue team takes the first game after um, a rather disappointing start because it wasn't even that um, they didn't have combos going or hitting going because that's the kind of thing that's rather situational, you know, spacing, dependent, stuff like that. So just getting bumped in neutral, like nothing was happening. And uh, as they did get some healing in at one point, like two or three side bees in a row and two kills uh, at the same time, basically, uh, they were able to convert that, ride the momentum towards the end of the match. Thinking about the counter picks. I don't think we'll see a switch from either team, really. No reason for Lucario Lucas. Uh, to do so, and even from uh, from uh, Skadarex and Volia, Volia is staying uh, the villager. It's not even uh, questionable at this point. Uh, but Skadarex, I don't think he would gain from switching to a Sheik. He has a reliable kill power. It has helped them with the uh, up smashes. So let's stick with that, as it seems to be the case. Battlefield again. Yep. Okay, here we go again. That's a big stage. The platform's definitely uh, handy for a villager. Uh, Lucas is out stage. No double jump, but manages to touch the ground with the fast forward with, uh, down air. Rating taking its sweet time approaching in such a way that they don't get grabbed, don't get uh, coached into a project Lucario projectile. Very mean axe to tree, my god, this nearly took it. And the F smash at the end on the regular getup. Snipes the frame with the long lasting hitbox of uh, Villager's forward smash. Very nice and Volia basically single handedly destroying that stock. Smash up a shield. That's an option you see every day with Lucario, but when you get the read, man, why not? Okay, it's this kind of game. I see. It's like, the, you know, at one point you, you're playing super, super by the book, getting your healing in, getting those, those quick conversions, take the pressure and run away, and then there are those games where you're like, yeah, you know what? Up smash, out of shield with Lucario, and up smash into neutral with Lucas. And it kind of works, to be honest. Even though Red Team is still at uh, a person lead right now, Lucario is, uh, actually has a decent amount of aura just because uh, Red Team has a start lead, precisely. Woo! And uh, as a pseudo bat from uh, Lucas, this is very satisfying noise. Red team has stage control, but kind of budges it. And again, nice F-Smash from Voldia, nice awareness. Uh, it was a bit scary to drop the F-Smash uh, on his teammate or so, but Skull was only at 90%. Wouldn't that be a kill in any way? Nice awareness from him. Tries to go for the Gimp. Yeah, Voldia will make that tree, that tree grow. Protect himself from the Aura Sphere, and the healing is in. Skull is slowly adapting to uh, to Rose Shooter's uh, forward smashes, but um, for his sake, I, I hope he's, uh, he'll be uh, safer in his landing because landing with Erdos near Lucas is just begging to get shield grab. Uh, kill it grab. Very even game at this point. No follow up. Uh, Skull trying to edge guard Luke has definitely done something I would recommend, especially in this scenario. Try to end the career stock as quickly as you can because he's gaining an insane amount of aura being one stock behind uh, his teammate and one of the opponents. Yeah, absolute destruction with the side B. Dash reverse of Sash won't kill anymore. 
No aura, uh, no rage on the Skeletor eggs. And the tree growing will take care of that stock finally. So it seems Blue Team might actually be in trouble right now if they don't get some healing in. And they will have trouble to get some efficient healing because Lucario has so little aura. His project life is super weak. You can see Purga protecting the corner, very smart. Just not running into his opponents, just dashing in and out to make sure they stay uh, safely away while Kuro Shooter is uh, trying to recover. Ooh, nice sec from Kuro Shooter. Oh, Volia trying to go for the games. There's something going on off stage. So much stuff. Kuro Shooter might lose his stock, but Purga is right here with the grab and the back throw from Skiller X just to protect himself from uh, the upcoming uh, Kuro Shooter goes for the back throw and kills him. Hit one motherfucker with one with another motherfucker. Still, as I said, Purga is ranked ninth in France, and he has a lot of experience in both these matchups. Even though he hates the Mario one, so it wouldn't be impossible considering the red team has a rather poor follow-ups and confirms in terms of team combos to bring this back. He just need to get one of them off stage. The risky stuff of bees. Oh my god, the back air, double back air does not kill. Uh, I have to ask Purga why exactly that did not kill. Probably some aura thing, because if that went one and one, that was definitely it. The combos are actually hurting my soul. Like upstroke, please. Ugh. They are so scared. They are so scared. This is... The game is taking out of their head. Just... Camp him, something. Yeah, back here. Down here, this could be it. This could be it. Yep. Gets the two frame with the neutral B. Huge pop off from Purga and Kuroshitter. Too bad for the red team. But yeah, th their weakness as a team really, really showed there because uh, they weren't sure of their role. Uh, am I supposed to go in? Am I supposed to camp? They were sure of their composition. Uh, is our super, uh, composition meant to camp uh, Zulcario, or are we supposed to kill him? And if we're supposed to kill him, how do we do? So that's the first point. And uh, finally, uh, they just wasn't, weren't able to create the opening. 